As you will have seen in our, in our press release this afternoon, the uh, Prime Minister, the Foreign Minister and I have condemned in the strongest possible terms the chemical weapons attack against civilians, including children, in Syria on the 7th of April uh, this year. The use of chemical weapons by anyone, anywhere, under any circumstances is illegal and reprehensible. The Assad regime cannot be allowed to commit such crimes with impunity. That is why Australia fully supports the US-led strikes against chemical weapons facilities in Syria today. The strike by the United States, France and the United Kingdom forces targeted the Syrian regime's chemical weapons research, development and production capability. Those locations were specifically chosen to minimise the risk to civilians. This morning I've spoken with the uh, United States Secretary Defense, for Defence, uh, Jim Mattis, who has briefed me on the strikes. As the United States has confirmed, they struck three targets. A scientific research centre located in the Greater Damascus area, a chemical weapons storage facility west of Homs, and a nearby chemical weapons equipment storage facility that was also an important command post. The strike was calibrated, proportionate, and targeted. It has reduced the regime's ability to use chemical weapons in the future and sends a clear and strong message that the use of chemical weapons will not be tolerated by the international community. I can confirm that there was no Australian involvement in the strike. Australia's mission in Iraq and Syria is the defeat of Daesh. Our strike aircraft in fact returned to Australia in early January this year. Our Wedgetail and our KC-30A refueller were not involved in the operations. By continuing to employ chemical weapons against in innocent Syrian civilians, the Assad regime has violated international law and abandoned its own commitments to the international community. These strikes are not seeking to escalate the conflict in Syria, but these violations of international law and norms cannot be allowed to continue. We call on all nations in Syria to work quickly to resolve the Syrian conflict via the only legitimate means, the UN-sanctioned Geneva process.